Computers weren't a part of my preschool experience, but it seems that today children are surrounded by technology at home, in their community, and increasingly in early childhood education programs. Jessica Salai takes us to a local school where clicking the mouse helps these little ones learn the most basic and essential of educational concepts. With the click of a mouse, preschool students at Kitty Kingdom in Fresno are learning fundamental school readiness skills. Research shows computers can have important benefits for even very young children, including problem-solving skills and assist with language, literacy, and social development. Director Adriana Morales oversees all of the learning centers, which also includes the computer lab. We do math and science on the computer, shapes, colors, numbering, simple math. We do phonics on the computer, so letter recognition, sound recognition, simple spelling. Of course you want to make sure the lessons are developmentally appropriate for the child. As Ms. Morales explains, children improve most when the purpose of their learning is made clear. So it's important to consider the child's interests, developmental stages, and abilities the interactiveness of it. it. It they're able to relate to it and they're able it relates back to them. They're instantly gratified. They get they do what it's supposed to do. It tells them. It gives them stickers, it gives them gives them rewards, and that instant gratification is fantastic for the preschoolers. Janine Ott, program director for Kids Care Schools, designs the curriculum. She adds, a computer is most beneficial when its use is related to other subjects the students are learning and when children work on the computer with peers or adults. It really helps in the social aspect where they can help each other out, point out if one child is not quite sure how to, how to use the mouse as well, they're really interacting and learning how to work with it together along with the teacher's guidance. Today's computer programs reinforce phonics, language arts, shapes, colors, and simple numbers. Uh, they are age appropriate games, we can switch them out. So if we have younger threes that are working on the computers, we can put in a program that might be a little bit more simple for them to understand. Technology use in the classroom is a growing trend among educators. One third of pre-K teachers report using computers. Of those, 80% are frequent or regular users. Not everyone is sold on digital media for young children. A report concluded that an over-reliance on computers can lead to problems such as stifled natural creativity, hampered social skills, and health effects like eye strain and obesity. Morella said there was some hesitation on the school's part initially. In the beginning, when, when we introduced computers into our curriculum, everyone was like, I don't know if our three and four year olds can do this. this these are, some of our adults don't even know how to use computers. But the kids really, really learn from it so quickly and they outlearn us on them. So they're able to use it much more than we, I think we ever thought they would be able to. The success of a computer as an educational tool hinges on the fact that it does not replace traditional learning approaches that use blocks, books, or crayons. The computer is a supplement. It's not the only tool in the classroom. The computer lab is one of many centers that focus on math, science, and language arts. The children rotate throughout the day between these centers. So, skills are acquired during an arts and crafts activity in addition to the computer program. Overall, what it's adding is just a different aspect and a different way they can learn. If they're more visual learners, it helps with those kids. Uh, the ones that are more hands-on, ha we have activities provided for them. All of the curriculum that parents would expect their child to learn is taught in this classroom. The students just have another tool from which to learn those school readiness skills. I'm Jessica Salai for 0 to 5 in 30 minutes. Thanks, Jessica. For a link to the National Association for the Education of Young Children's report on young children and computers, just go to valleypbs.org and click on 0 to 5 in 30 minutes. This program funded in part by First Five Fresno County. At First Five, we focus on the first five years of life. We fund programs and services that better the lives of children in Fresno County. Additional funding from First Five Tulare County. Changing lives and building futures. Because it's all about the kids.